Hi everybody and welcome to A Little Everything. I'm little but I'm everything you need. Today I'm gonna be making another challenge from the Julia Child cookbook Mastering the Art of French Cooking. Today I'm gonna be making the onion soup and my challenge is as I have said is to make all of her recipes it's quite a thick book, so it's going to take some time, but I think it's going to be fun. So I'm going to do the onion soup today. So for that, you need onions, some sugar, oil, some salt, white wine, flour, and dark beef bouillon. And in the end, bread and cheese because I'm gonna be making it in the oven so in the recipe the first thing you need to do is to chop the onions because they need to fry on the stove for about 30 to 40 minutes to give the soup that that deep flavor that's onion soup so, the thing you need to do first is to chop your onions. Like so. Small slices. Maybe like this thick. Like so. Yeah, and this soup is gonna be quite a lot, kind of six to, to eight portions. So the first thing in the recipe, you need 45 grams of butter. In they go. And then you need nine if I have read the recipe right. No, sorry, you need 12 deciliters, 12 cups of these, like so. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I need to make some more. Just chop it. Thing. Oh, oops. Ten. Eleven. 
Eleven. Ooh. Chopping onions is not fun. Really. Mm. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, that's too much, I think. Maybe like still. Twelve. In they go. Oh. <laughs> Take care of those later. And then give it a quick stir. Just so the onions separate. Like so. And then some oil, oil. And in the recipe it's one tablespoon. So I think it's like so. And one table, no, sorry, it's one teaspoon, no, yeah, sorry, yeah, one teaspoon of salt, like so. and a half teaspoon of sugar like so why you add sugar is, is because to make um, the frying easier because you want to have a dark color with the onions don't burn it but you want to have dark because the caramelization um, is starting because that uh, is gonna make the onion soup having that characteristic flavor then in the recipe it says you need to fry it on the stove for about 30 to 40 minutes and stir occasionally just because it's not gonna burn or stick to the pot so I will take my onions to the stove. So here is my onions and it's really important to keep stirring so it doesn't get burned or get too dark too quickly. As I said you need to have it on the stove for about 30 to 40 minutes. A slow cooking onions so keep stirring for about 30 to 40 minutes you can have it on low heat but you need to occasionally stirring so it doesn't get burned and after 40 minutes on the stove it should looks something like this oh look at that fat Julia Child loved butter and so do I it's gonna be deep brown not burnt but deep brown like this then you take it off the stove and place it on the iron board again. <clears throat> then, in the recipe book, it says 45 grams flour, and that's this. Pour it in and give it a stir. This will have help thicken the soup, like so. Then, and give it a quick stir, 
for about three minutes back on the stove. That's because to give get rid of the flower taste. Give it a quick stir again with the flour on the stove. And you can think that all in all, this recipe, the French onion soup, or just the onion soup, Julia Charles style. It will take about two hours from the beginning to the end because you need to do s stuff like this like first you need to fry the onion for 40 minutes so it gets dark brown like so and then as it says in the recipe you will need to boil it for 30 or 40 minutes with beef stock dark beef stock that I have already made like that so in the recipe it says you need to pour in the beef stock in the hot onions after three minutes and I think it's about three minutes so here I have beef stock made by myself so just pour it in pour it like that give it a quick stir When you do boil the onion soup, you want to take away the foam, like so. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. Give it a quick heat up, or how do you say it in English? I don't know. I don't care. I make it my own way. And then you pour in the wine. So here is one deciliter of white wine. Just pour it in like that. Give it a quick stir. And that's that. Quite simple. Now you only need to boil it for 30 or 40 minutes. With the... Uh, how do you say? The... <laughs> the the yeah this thing like so don't don't have all of it on the pot like one or two centimeters apart so the 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 air or how do you say it the Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Just have it like this. Then, salt and pepper. But that's in the end. Now, let it boil for 30 or 40 minutes. And then it's done. Then, you need to 
organize it or how you call it like when you are gonna eat it so I'm gonna eat it like this one bowl two bowls then I'm gonna have some bread a really crisp bread like that oh that's really crispy like that one or two in the bottom then I pour the soup on top one or two bread pieces again on the top and then cheese then I put it in the oven just so the top gets boiled or so the, the, the cheese gets melted and get a nice crisp for about 20 minutes and I don't know how, how the, the heat in the oven should be because every, everyone wants it different you know some people want the cheese to be a little melted some people want it to be crisp and some people want it to be burnt so that's up to you but 20 minutes in the oven so the cheese gets melted and that's that French onion soup yeah from the Julia Child cookbook mastering the art of French cooking really easy but it takes a lot a lot of time And if you want, you can make the bread different, like it says here in the recipe. Like four different things you can do with the bread in the soup. One, you can have the bread and put some olive oil on the top, grill it in the oven and put some garlic in it on top. Or you can have parmesan cheese on, regular cheese any kind of cheese you want or just like this really toasted and crispy bread because what the soup is gonna do it's gonna absorb uh, the flavor and the stock or the soup so the bread is gonna get squish uh, mushy or how you say it but it's gonna be mushy or soft in a good way it's gonna be really really tasty I promise try this at home you are not gonna be disappointed and when the soup is done it should look like this Ooh, look at that all that cheese and bread look at that so that's all for me today I see you next time and don't forget keep up and eat more <laughs>